So you can take both of the doors off. Um, this is a train or American standard, so the flame sensor for it. It's right there. So you need a quarter inch nut driver. And a lot of times they're curved. So you need to twist it like that and then pull it out and turn it to the side and pull the rest out. So that's what your flame sensor looks like. This one doesn't look too bad. You can see a little bit of the carbon build up on it and we'll be getting rid of that next. So you just want to get some sandpaper, it doesn't really matter what kind, um, just go around it. Some people say you can use like a dollar bill, it's better for the flame sensor, but I disagree. Sandpaper is definitely the way to go. I usually recommend a new flame sensor after, um, I don't know, if you go on a furnace that's any more than 8 to 10 years old, usually we'll recommend one because they've been sanded so much, it, it's just better to get a new one. Alright, so after your flame sensor is cleaned, it looks much better, no carbon build up on it, and you'll hook it back in to the wire. Once it's back in, then we're going to have to slide it in at an angle. And then twist it back around where the hole lines up and put your screw in. just like that all right well that was a pretty simple video i uh, hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time